Hi guys, this is Erica from Gokche Capital. Now before I begin, be sure to click subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Officer Darren Mays' uniform is a bit different from his fellow officers. It's a bee suit. We'll learn more about the NYPD's official beekeeper at the end of this video. But first, if you plan to raise bees in your own backyard, here are the top things you should know. Number one, what equipment do you need? The most important is woodenware, which is the beehive itself. You'll also, of course, need a protective veil and gloves to avoid stings, a smoker to calm the bees, a hive tool to access the hive and move frames around, and then your bees. Number two, what's the time commitment of beekeeping? Generally speaking, for every two hives, you should allow an average of one hour per week to manage your bees. Number three, where should you set up your hives? The best placement for your hive is with the opening to either the southeast or southeast direction. This way your bees will soak up the morning sun and then cool down with a bit of shade in the afternoon. You should also avoid any high activity spots in your backyard, like the sidewalks or swing set. Number four, what is a typical timeline for setting up your hive? When you should start depends on climate and geography, but most people will make the mistake of waiting too late in the year. Here is an average timeline. In November or December, take a beekeeping class and order your equipment. In April, have your bees arrive, install your hive, and spend three to four months feeding the new bees a combination of sugar and water. Then by September or October, your colony should have grown and you may be able to harvest honey. In November, your bees will be put to bed and prepped for the colder months ahead. And through the winter, you don't have to do a lot, but you do want to check on the hive to make sure there are enough honey stores inside. Number five, how do you manage your bee colony? It can be hard to get your bees through that first year, but here are some steps to make sure you're tending to their needs. Regularly inspect your hive to assess conditions. Check the health and status of the queen, the population, the food stores, and for any evidence of pests or illness. Add and remove boxes and frames as dictated by the colony's population and activities. Limit the impact of robbing on your hives. The best way to prevent this is by restricting the entrance to the hives. And prepare your hives appropriately for winter. Which leads me to number six. How do you protect your hive in the winter? Winter is a hard month and many bees are lost, but there are some things you can do to give them a better chance of survival. Feed them syrup in the fall, wrap your hive, ventilate your hive so there isn't too much moisture, use the narrowest opening on the entrance reducer, protect the entrance from mice, control varroa mites, and combine weak hives together. So that covers some of the basics of backyard beekeeping. Although, apparently, it is not just farmers and bee enthusiasts who practice beekeeping, but the NYPD as well. Since 2014, Officer Darren Mays has played the role of official police beekeeper, a position he was offered after taking up beekeeping as a hobby. Darren is on hand whenever anyone in the city calls in to report a swarm of bees, an event that is more common than you may think in New York City. Everyone calls me the honey man, Darren says, for whenever he discovers roving bees, he humanely collects them and brings them back to his precinct's rooftop hive, where he uses them to make honey. Does he get stung? Yes, over 400 times but he's an officer. He can take a sting. However, in 2021, the NYPD lost its official beekeeper, for Darren decided to retire to his home in the Hudson Valley, where he can care for his own hive full time. In the meantime, Darren hopes his time as the NYPD honey man reminded New Yorkers and his fellow officers of just how important bees are to the ecosystem, even one as built up as New York City. So what do you think? Are you ready to become your neighborhood's beekeeper? Let us know in the comments. Did you like this video? 
you're going to love our Gokche Land Due Diligence program. We'll make you a land due diligence expert in just seven days. Check it out at gokchecapital.com slash glad. And while you're at our website, don't forget to explore our $1 down listings at gokchecapital.com slash listings. Finally, don't hesitate to reach out. You can email, call, or text, and we will respond as soon as possible. So thank you for listening and more to come.